step one, you will begin with a slab of clay and a ball of clay. You will use the pinch pot technique to make a half circle. After you make the half circle, you will trace that circle onto the slab of clay and then you will score and slip to make sure that those things are sealed together properly and you will bound them together and it will give you a dome. A hair dryer or a small fan can be used in this step to allow the clay to dry a little bit so that you can use it and not worry about it collapsing on itself. Next, take clay and form a small cube for the mouthpiece. Then join that cube to the spot where the slab and the half ball meet. Make sure you score and slip so that things do not fall apart. For the next step, insert a popsicle stick into the front of the cube and make sure it goes all the way through and enters into the dome just underneath the slab. Use a second popsicle stick and on the bottom of the slab align it with the first popsicle stick. Then about a quarter inch from the inside edge of the half ball, cut out a quarter inch rectangle. Be sure to angle or slant the inner cut. To make the whistle sound, you will have to manipulate the slanted cut. This will take a lot of patience and trial and error if you don't get it the first time. ears and eyes on a piece of paper and then I trace them onto a slab of clay that I rolled out to keep things consistent. After I sketch them I cut them out and I blow dry them to remove extra water. Once I have them set I score and slip and attach them to the whistle. Once they are set in place I leave the work set to dry and then do a bit fire.